do, 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 do. Come on, go live. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, Facebook. You can do it. There's a good Facebook. Good job, good job. All right, audio is okay. Boop, 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 boop. Comments are up. And I've muted myself. So there we go. All right, ready to go. Cool, cool. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Um, I've got a lot of mail to open. So I'm trying to, trying to kind of help myself in a way here. In that I usually, you know, you get a mail day. You get something in the mail. I, like, walk in, rip it open, and then it's, you know, and that's that. Which is, I've been, I've been going a little nuts on eBay, so I decided to kind of save up some stuff. Break, open it all live, which has slowed me down a little bit, which was good. Also, I wanted to make sure I had some money saved up for the, um, the awesome con we had this past weekend. It was awesome. Anybody watching this that had anything to do with putting it together, thank you. It was a bright spot in a really weird time. It was freaking great. I felt like I was at a convention. Awesome. Um, and I hope we do... Well, we are going to do it next year. And uh, glad to see we don't need a global pandemic for that kind of thing. But I do also have... After the last box of Jedi vs. Sith that I opened, I had to do another. This time I've got the, uh, the light side cover. So we're going to open that. First of all, going to open some mail that has been saving up. This is like... This is probably two weeks worth of uh, stuff that I've been I've been saving up. Plus, it's kind of more fun to like have a bunch of eBay packages sitting off to the side. It's torturous in a way, but in a way, it's kind of cool being like I'm gonna wait to open these because now I don't remember what they all are, which is pretty neat. Um, first, we got the dreaded card in an envelope. I know you've all been there where you get you open up your mailbox and you're like, oh no, is it gonna be okay? So we'll find out. We'll find out together. I did try to cross off addresses and stuff. Um, I know that may be a little overkill because, you know, they're on eBay and, and I'm on here with my real name. Anyway, let's see what we got in here. What's in number one? Oh, okay. I remember this. The 99. I'm trying to get as many of these. I haven't rainbowed anything ever, pretty much. So I'm always on the look of something that I maybe could... So I love this card. I have a plate of it, and I think I have an out of five on the way. Um, and I forgot to bring my trash barrel over, so I'm going to go grab that. But this is the first thing. Glad it made it okay. We're, we're, we're one for one on things making it. All right, there you can see my butt. There you go. No charge for that. All right, let me throw this out. Number two. What's the weirdest, okay, for everybody watching, what's like the weirdest packaging you ever got? I haven't gotten anything that bizarre in a while, but sometimes it's like getting into freaking Fort Knox for these things, which I appreciate. I'd rather have it like over, over packed than under packed. So let's, uh, holy mackerel. All right, let's go. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, I'll put it over here so you can at least see what I'm going through. Oh, this is a, a no, oh, see, somebody reused. This is good. They reused the package. So now I have someone else's home address that they did not, uh, they did not cross off. So if you are, I'm not going to say the name, but, uh, I know where, I know where some card collector somewhere lives now. All right. What do we got here? Ooh, this, this is, this is something. Okay. So that's on the front. I did not order a million dollar bill with whoever that is on it. Okay. <laughs> See, this is kind of fun. You all get to experience the weirdness. All right, before we do the card. So what is this they put in here? I've got one million dollar note. Okay. Will you go to heaven when you die? Here's a quick, oh, it's one of those things. Okay, well, there you go. A one million dollar bonus bill. They also put in apparently some baseball cards <laughs> that I did not order, but that's fine. Hey, and I'm a Red Sox fan. We got Mookie Betts. I did not. These are not something I ordered. So I know those aren't Star Wars. They were just in there randomly. A home run thing. Uh, the Milwaukee. Let's see if they accidentally put anything good in here. Why would they put <laughs> baseball cards? Yankees. Boo. 
Tanaka, boo. All right. I'm a Red Sox fan, so there you go. Let's see what we got in this one. Oh, it's another one of my Admiral Piet. Obviously, I uh, I kind of have to collect Piet, right? I think it's one of those things that I'm uh, contractually re required to uh, to get. So I have a pretty big uh, Piet collection, Admiral, Captain, whichever. Uh, it was a pretty big deal when I was a kid and heard my last name in a movie. Okay, here we go. Here's another. I don't know why there were baseball cards in there, guys. Um, one happened to be Mookie Betts, though, so, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> Even though he's not a Red Sox player anymore, which kind of sucks. But, hey, that's baseball. If you can't handle your players leaving. All right, what do we got? Oh, ooh, this is a good one. Okay, what do we got here? Is this? Which one is this? Oh, yes. Sketch card. Oh, and I, I, I would need to say, this was Louise Draper. This was the, uh, the Piet. So shout out for an awesome Admiral Piet. Next card, we've got Jin and Cassian. Oh, I love this one. This actually, this is one of those where the picture in eBay did not really do it justice. This is Coat. Hmm. I don't know which one that is. I'm going to have to check the, uh, the autograph database database and see who that that one doesn't pop out at me immediately all right next this is another little mailer oh it is a good one okay there's nothing covering it so i will simply oh yeah got a car dune sketch she's great i love the mandalorian i got uh I got a um, Armorer AP from Candice Daly over the weekend, and I cannot wait for that to come in. So I'll bust those open whenever I get my convention stuff. Uh, I will definitely um, open that stuff, give shout-outs to the artist. But that is my, I think, my second Cara Dune sketch. Uh, big fan of hers, big fan of the show. I was a fan of Gina Carano like before she was part of Star Wars, so this is the rare case of... I, I was kind of into UFC for a while. You know, I go in and out of Ultimate Fighting. Right, I haven't watched it in some years. Some years, uh, but I definitely uh, know well of Gina Carano, so pretty awesome there. All right, let me open this. I always hate having to use scissors on these, too. I'm like, have you, has anyone ever, like, have you ever actually crunched through a card opening a package from eBay? Because that would suck. That would absolutely suck. Okay, we got cardboard. All right, we've got, ooh, two things here. Oh, more of more of the same theme. Ken Kali Auto. Out of twenty-five, I never, I don't have any Ken Kali Autos from this set. So uh, happy to have this. Add this to the Admiral Piet collection. That is, I'd say stack-wise, it's, it's it's getting there. It's pretty big. I'll grab any random cool Piet stuff I see. I wanted to get the. Um, Forgot who had it for sale. There was someone at the at the uh, convention this weekend that had a really cool Piet for sale, and I was waffling on it. And I thought to myself, like, you know, oh, nobody. I don't think anybody's gonna jump on an Admiral Piet. And uh, yeah, I was I, I was dead wrong. It was gone the next morning when I went to get it. And we got another Admiral Piet sketch, which is great. Tim Shin. I have a few sketches from Tim Shin. These are these are uh, I really like his stuff. So there is another Admiral Piet sketch. We've got. Do, 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 do. Let me open this. Yeah, I would. Uh, I also wanted to start opening some stuff live so that I have video record of it. I think that seemed like a kind of kind of safe thing to do. What is in here? Oh, this is one of those. So this is in a Tops Now package. This is a set, uh, Rogue One set, that I completely missed. Um, I was unable to purchase really any cards, uh, much of cards of any kind, leading up to Rogue One. Uh, so I missed out on the uh, the Tops Now sets. They had like I think seven weeks of of like Journey to Rogue One or whatever they called it. And I now have I think I have four of the sets. At one point someone was selling all of them, and I knew I should have gotten all of them when I could, and I didn't. Uh, but I'm I'm starting to rebuild that back up. 
So, all right, we got four more. Then I'm gonna bust open the box of chrome. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is another. <laughs> I went on a bit of a, I guess Admiral Piet and was my big thing the last couple of weeks, along with another Cara Dune. Oh yeah, this one, Mike Mastermaker, I believe. I've seen a bunch of his. Uh, this is really cool. I like this one a lot. Um, so now I think I've got a few. I can move on. I've got a nice little Cara Dune collection now. I've got the, um, I'm looking at him right now, in fact. I've got her auto from Women of, Women of Star Wars, and I've got the one that, um, the one that came out before on the top site. So I've got a nice little collection of her going. I cannot wait for the Mandalorian sets to come out, by the way. That might be, I'm not promising, but that might be the first time I buy a, uh, a full case. I've never bought a case. Never, never have done that. Um, I don't know. I don't know why yet, because I could have, but I'm more, it's more of a scary thought, you know, like, wow, I'm going to buy this. What if there's nothing good in it? But I've watched all you do it. You all taking the risk. And I think Mandalorian's when I'm going to do that too. All right. What do we got here? Oh, these were, so these, I really like the, um, the powerful pairs. I think these are, that's a really cool uh, insert set. So I got oh, regular tape. Regular tape. I cannot get through you, tape. Come on, tape. This is riveting me trying to get tape undone. All right, guys, we're going to go in and do the, do the dissection of the tape without getting near the cards. Oop, there we go. Cool. Pretty good at that move now. All right, Happy Revenge of the Fifth, I guess. Yeah, I don't really use the Revenge of the Fifth thing, and uh, but but Happy Fourth, May the Fourth. Yesterday we got the Auto Ninety Nine of several cards. So someone had them on bid. They were going. They were all pretty cheap. So I just figured I'd get whatever ones that person had. So I got a decent little set of Ninety Nines that I'm starting to powerful pairs. There's no way I would be able to get all of them at probably a, a, a more rare uh, variant. So I'm just going to go for maybe get all the 99s. That could be cool. All right. We got two more packages. I'm going to rip and open cards. All right. We got, first of all, boom, from Mandalorian. I have only seen this character once in a sketch, and it was this sketch. Um, I have not seen this character on a sketch card um, since. I already gave it away, so I'll show the other card in that package. And um, Queen. I had to get the Queen. I don't, I don't have her auto. That's, this is how I justified this purchase. Was uh, I don't have any autos of her, any set at all. So uh, I went all in, got the out of 25. Um, and now she's, on, she's off the list. And it's a cool looking card, too. I really, I really like the Women of Star Wars set. I... Uh, I've been buying more of that than I thought I would. This is really cool. This is going to be a nice addition to the Mandalorian set. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think she's a character lots of people will pick. Um, Stephanie Swanger, I believe, is the artist here. So, GG on that. This is awesome. Um, it was mislabeled. That was the other thing with this card. It was mislabeled as Val. In fact, on the back, you can see where they wrote uh, Val at the top. So it didn't say Mandalorian, it didn't say her character name, which I'm spacing on at the moment. Um, but what she, uh, yeah, but uh, so I was able to kind of grab it at a, at a ooh, and I should remute myself. So all right, Mandalorian sketches. We got one more, one more package. And then I'm busting that open. Okay. Oh, this one is like encased in a tomb, a bubble wrap tomb. So now I'm caught up. I've opened all of the stuff I had. I'm hopefully going to do these norm, you know, like without 10 items and a little more gradually than just all at the same time. Oh, all right. These are, I've had these in for a while. I think I, I think these are the first things that came in in this batch. So we got some sketch cards. Boom. And I have, so this is a gin from Darren Pepe. 
And the cool thing about this is I have this, a very similar sketch that Darren did, but it's got like a dark purplish background. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I need to get this to go next to the other one. So uh, super cool. Um, if anybody knows, if anybody's got any of this sketch, but with different colored backgrounds from Darren Pepe, let me know. Uh, Cause I'd be interested in that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that along with its its sibling, and Luke, and of course. I wonder where, where's Mike? Where's Mike here to tell us who what artist this is? Taranishi. That's who it is. I can I will never not know this dude's uh, signature at this point because everybody like the running gag of everyone asks what the heck is this signature? <laughs> I can recognize this thing from probably like you know thirty feet away at this stage. Uh, but I like this Luke. It's a different look for Luke. It's like, it's 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 kind of before the sequel trilogy. I would say this looks like Luke maybe 15 years before uh, he left for Octo. So I really like, I really like the look. He's got the beard, scraggly long hair. So really cool. And I just love anytime you can get one of uh, his car, his sketch cards with an actual background. And it's not just black and white. I found it to be a... Uh, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool to get a card of his that's that's got a colorful background and a Luke that you really haven't seen. Maybe they maybe they slipped through. They're like, oh, they didn't notice it was quasi expanded universe. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm gonna break this box open. Uh, last box I did of this, I got a one of the one of the female Jedi Council people. I can't remember. Funny how when you're the camera's on you forget things. All right. And yes, all day today in my very my many work calls and stuff, I felt strangely compelled to tell everyone that there's an event that they should go join if they haven't seen it yet, and to make sure they scroll all the way from the top to the bottom to make sure they don't miss anybody's booth. I, I had that. I did have that in my head like all weekend. It was. I mean, like all weekend, I kept hearing it. And uh, it was pretty fun. So anyway, I mentioned I had a great time this weekend. It was awesome. All right, let us open some cards, as they say. All right, we got Grievous, Kit Fisto, Yvonne Peel, Aura Singh, Jedi Training, and Plo Kloon. I'm going to actually separate these because I am one of the other, uh, I mean, I guess if you want to call it good things about this uh, quarantine, I've been working from home and so I have a little more time like at the end of nights and stuff. So I have organized a metric ton of cards. Like everything's in binders. I have, I have three shelves that were filled with boxes that are now all sorted. It's amazing. I'm so glad I finally did all that. Darth Maul. Lama Su. We got Darth Bane. Wookiee terrorist Chewbacca. A threat to the Republic. Sidious. I'll try to show some of the some of the uh, inserts. I this is now the second box I've I've opened of this, and I really do like this set. This is this is a really cool set. This has been fun. Uh, all right, let's see. We got. Do we have a nope? No hitting here. Let's see, we got Qui-Gon. Han Solo. Sith Lord, Darth, Darth Vader. Kit Fisto. Threat to the Republic of Asajj. And uh, Asajj is definitely, and uh, Zam Wessel. So do you try, is it Zam Wessel? Or I've, I have said Zam Wessel f forever. Um, and then I heard some people say Zam Wessel. And uh, I think it's Wessel. It's like the people that think it's an AT-AT. I don't even know what an AT-AT is. It's an ad -at. It's just what it is. AT-AT. Don't even know. <laughs> it's a great thing about Star Wars. You can, you can call it literally whatever you want. It's fine by me. We got an Ahsoka. Darth Sidious. Oh, and anyone who isn't watching Clone Wars... Well, watch Clone Wars. I gotta say, I know if you're like anti the cartoons, if you are, or if you just haven't gotten into it, the last arc of this season, 
And Quinlan Voss. I did not get that card in the last box. I know, because I wanted a Quinlan Voss. Um, it's required viewing. The last arc, the last four episodes, I won't say anything, but you you have to like it's required. First, it's it's just is. I am, yeah. Aura Singh, Poggle the Lesser. Oh, we got a hit. We've we've got a hit. So let's go. Let's see. We got a wanted. Kit Fisto, Bosk, who is of course a bounty hunter. And I believe, oh my god, holy, holy shit, guys, holy mackerel, two carries in one month, boom, holy crap, hold on, holy shit, sorry, I didn't mean to swear, <laughs> oh my, hold on, hold on. <laughs> are shaking holy crap <laughs> I gotta sit for a minute <laughs> holy mackerel all right now we're gonna we got don't drop it <laughs> hold on I gotta go get the card that I pulled like two weeks ago um So, okay, we got, I'm still, I pulled that out of a random eBay uh, Galactic Files box on, I think it was like 4.15, somewhere around there. And now, oh my gosh, hold on, I'm sorry, I keep getting up, but I'm like, I need a stand. Sorry, any other card. Woo! Sorry, even peel. You're here. <laughs> All right. Holy crap! I I seriously pulled I pulled the Galactic Files one not three weeks ago out of a random eBay box, and then I pull another Carrie Fisher out of another random eBay box. <laughs> This is one of the reasons I started doing these live. After I pulled the first one, I was like, if that ever happens again, which it won't, I want it to be live and on film. Film, wow. You know, camera. All right, holy crap. <laughs> well, that went well. That was, uh, that was, that, that's about as good as that can go. I have always wanted that Carrie Fisher card. I was in a break that I think Jason Willis did maybe a year ago and I was like I was number one pick in two there were two cases of this I was number one pick in case one and then and the card in case two was this and I've I've been chasing this one but I, I wasn't gonna buy it so I was like the only way I'm ever gonna get this is to is to freaking pull it which is near impossible let me well apparently not holy mackerel all right we're gonna we're gonna leave leave Carrie oh my god that's the Oh, this is the Carrie Fisher I've like. That's the card I want. I've been wanting like for Carrie. I've I've been like that's my favorite of her of her autographs. That is so cool. I'm sorry I'm freaking out, but I I imagine y'all can understand. Um, yeah, I mean, when I when I was revealing the hit and I saw it was a hit, and I was like pulling it back and 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 I was like. Princess Le at the bottom. I'm like, maybe it's a what? Like you go through that disbelief. Yeah, I really like this that particular card. So, holy mackerel! All right, well, I don't think we're gonna pull anything better than that. I think that's probably the highlight. So, <laughs> holy mackerel! Uh, Django, Darth Maul. And uh, by the way, this this one not for trade, not for sale. I think I'm keeping that probably forever. 
The other one, I know some people were asking me about the Galactic Fi- I don't know. I might trade one of them. Not this one, but maybe the other one, maybe? All I need, I got a Hamel that I pulled from another random eBay box. I have, I have luck with random eBay boxes. When I buy boxes from at really anyone else or, or any other company, I don't, usually don't get much. eBay, though, I've gotten a Luke from Heritage, carry from, oh, and the carry's a one out of five, the one from Galactic Files, and now this. I'm, is this like I shouldn't buy a box for like another, <laughs> I should, this is all the luck I'm going to have for probably a while, and I'm good with it. Luke, Quinlan Voss, Jedi Criminal. Oh, did I just throw... Did I have a refractor? I think I might have. It just shined a little... No, I think I'm just imagining things. Whew! I'm glad, I'm glad some of you folks were here to see that. That makes it more special. It does. And that's cool. Qui-Gon. And Count Dooku. I don't have that one either. Oh, man. That was exciting. That's crazy town. Darth Bane. You know, I used to... Luminara. Savage. Ahsoka. Mother Talzin. Oh, and the Imperial Foot Troopers. I think I've got the other version of this that I got in the last box. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. And that box, this, this box has been sitting there for a week and a half. If I had opened it, and, and I, I almost gave in this weekend because I didn't want to do a live stream like in the middle of the con and stuff. And like that just seemed like a, not a cool thing to do. So I sat and I almost opened it. I was like, eh, maybe I'll just open it. And I'm like, no, I gotta wait. What if there's, and I thought to myself, what if there's a carry in there or something? <laughs> Holy mackerel. All right, we got Jar Jar, or in my native New England would call it Jaja. -Ja. How you doing, Jaja? -Ja? What's up? Shock T. Lama Su. Ooh, I love this card. I have not seen this one. If you're not with us, then you are the enemy. Yeah, Clone Wars. Uh, you gotta see Clone Wars. Have I mentioned you have to see Clone Wars? I don't think you have to watch all of this season. It was good, but you just have to watch the last four. The story arc required. We got an Asajj. We've got a Sheev Palpatine. Another Ahsoka. I have a bunch of Ahsokas in this box. Darth Sidious. Jedi Training. Is that a different one? Yeah, that's a different one. I think I may have gotten that one last time. Clone Troopers. Two, 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 two. So how's everybody doing? How did everybody do at the convention? Everybody spend more than you thought you would? Because I know I did. I bought a few things. I've got a few really cool things coming. I also won, um, won, a, won a card and won a uh, piece of artwork from Jonathan. So I'll be showing all that when it comes in. It was really awesome. Again, I can't, really, I can't thank the people that organized it, all the mods. Tyler, Tyler's like a champion of interviewing and keeping that going for all those days. I know how hard that is to do. Um, and, and it takes a lot of energy and a lot of, a lot of everything. So thanks so much, man. I was explaining to people today, some of my coworkers, what, you know, Oh, how was your weekend? And I'm like, I went to a virtual star Wars trading card convention. And everybody's like, that sounds nerdy. Even for you. I'm like, Oh, Oh, it was, and it was glorious. It was so good. Getting to meet those artists. Uh, well, I, you know, virtually meet them. Way more than I thought. But got some great stuff. Cool, cool. Yeah, I, I thought it went really well. Like, I got to admit, when I heard the idea, I was like, well, this could be fun. You know, some people post some stuff. But it really had that feel of walking through a convention uh, vendor table section. It really did. In fact, it was only without all the millions of people around you. So it was, it was nice. And we've got an Anakin wanted... And Mother Talzin. We're about halfway through the box. The hit of the box was... You may recognize her from such movies as... 
all of them. Uh, yeah, Carrie Fisher. That's a great auto, too. That's, like, huge. It takes up... It takes up a solid 